What's going on everybody? This is Mason. You're tuning into the YouTube channel, Wasatch Pup Guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day, fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Guys, it is time for this week's Funko Pop Hunt. And now for this week, well, it's kind of just a random bits of little things here and there that I come across at stores and everything. I do end up finding a chase and I do pick up a couple of other things to help kind of complete some sets. And I think, well, I bought something that I feel like you guys should be on the lookout for due to a certain TV series that's been on Disney Plus recently, and you'll probably figure that out midway through the video. But anyways, guys, that is this week's hunt. All right, guys, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so I'm over here at Target, and I wanted to point out a couple of things that I do notice here that are new. So they have uh, some of the Space Jam Pops, which is awesome, and I don't have a little bunny, so I might have to pick this one up if it's in good shape. Eh, it's a little, I mean, I think I might still pick it up, but they do also have this new George um, holistic. I don't really know the show very well, but this is the new uh, Target exclusive from Seinfeld. And then they do have a couple of uh, Captain, or not Captain America, well, quote unquote Captain America, but the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. If you guys have seen the show, you know what I'm talking about, but the new Falcon and uh, John F. Walker pops. And I think that's pretty much it as far as new stuff that's here. There's Captain Marvel, there's Barbie pop, and um, yeah, pretty much that's all new that I can see. But uh, yeah, still pretty dang cool. All right guys, so I'm gonna go into 7-Eleven to get a Slurpee, but you guys can see right there, I see a couple of Funko Pops just chilling, just right there, right in the window. So um, maybe they have some of the new Slurpee Pops, I don't know, but let's go and check it out. Okay, so the only ones that I could actually see from the window was the Stone Cold Steve Austin one. So pretty cool though to at least see some exclusives and all of these had the stickers, which some of them didn't when you first found them, but cool that they have these in stock. The next day. All right, and then I hit up another 7-Eleven actually the next day and we actually found the Slurpee Pops. Um, and I am looking for two of them, Banana and Pina Colada to complete another set. And um, yeah, those were the only ones that we ended up getting. So pretty cool. All right, guys, so I'm here at a random Target that I've never been to, actually, before my wife is out here doing something with work, and so while I'm waiting for her, I decided to go to this Target, and so here are a couple of things that I did notice. They have this new, I think it's a Bad Batch exclusive Omega, so that's pretty cool, um, and then a couple of things that I've never actually noticed before, so there's this right here, which is the Seinfeld Mini Moments. No chases. I already kind of looked through a little bit, but those are pretty cool, and there's also this Kramer, which is like a pop moment with like his painting or whatever. I know a little bit about the show to know what that is all about, so first time seeing that, this guy right here. I'm not sure what this is from. I think it's Bakugan 2-pack. That's interesting. You have the George Holistic, another Omega. And then other than that, I don't really see anything else that's new. Um, yeah, other than those first couple things that I showed you, that's about it. All right, guys, so I'm here at Walmart, and they actually have a couple of new things that I want to show off to you. So normal stuff right here, pretty much, for the most part. Um, I don't know if there's really anything new. There's some like new lounge size stuff, some of these mystery mini, uh, Space Jam mystery minis, and I might actually get one. I might try my chances on that because it's a full case, so I don't know. We'll have to see. They do have some new Space Jam figures over here as well. They have like these little like bag clips, which are kind of actually a little bit kind of cool. There's Daffy Duck and there's also Bugs Bunny. And then over here, they do have a couple of new stuff as well, which is some of the new Seinfeld exclusives. So they have Jerry with the Pez and also the Soup Nazi right there with the uh, T-shirt, I believe, or Yev Kassam, however, whatever you want to call them, I guess. But anyways, there is some new stuff. Pretty cool to see at Walmart. Okay, guys, I lied. I actually found some more... Uh, uh, pops and stuff those are I'm actually pretty excited some more min mystery minis for Space Jam some of the other like pocket pops or whatever and the newer ones so we have uh, Marvin the Martian down there there's LeBron Daffy Duck pretty sweet some more uh, Seinfeld pops and then this down here which is a Space Jam shirt Funko shirt pretty cool not bad I was hoping they had the uh, exclusive Taz but it doesn't look like they have that here but still good sign that they have new stuff Oh my gosh, guys, I need a car wash, like, super bad. But we're going into GameStop to see if they have anything good or anything new. Okay, GameStop, guys. Well, right off the bat, I did notice something. There's a chase. And uh, it's from the new Mortal Kombat movie, so it's Scorpion. And um, you know what? I'm not going to turn down a chase, especially if I find it in GameStop. Sometimes those are a little bit harder to find. But I've had to have some luck at this specific GameStop, so pretty cool. I'm um, looking at other pops, see if, if there's any other chases, but I doubt it. 
And um, yeah, still kind of looking around, looking at the pop pins too to see if there's any chases of those. And uh, seeing if there's anything new as well, because GameStop sometimes just gets in like random stock. Most of the time it's pre-orders, but you never know. Uh, there's the new White Mamba from uh, the new Space Jam movie, which is the first time I saw that in person. So that is pretty sweet as well. But um, yeah, guys, looking through the pop pins again, nothing too crazy, but cool to find that chase. That's awesome. Okay, and then over at Endzone, guys, I am just kind of showing off to you some stuff. I am going to hint at something, though. I am going to pick up something that I feel like you guys shouldn't sleep on, especially after watching the last episode of Loki. But we're kind of panning through their whole section right here, seeing if there's anything cool. Honestly, at Endzone, you find, like, crazy things that are super old, and you just kind of have to dig. It's one of those places, because everything's kind of mixed in and everything. So, if you guys want to pause and look at anything specific, there is. But on the other side, there is this right here. So, this was a free comic book day Marvel Funko box, and um, I'll open it up here real quick, but... There is something, it's from Loki, obviously, and it's a Loki pop. Comes with a t-shirt and also a comic, and I end up picking this up. And I highly suggest, if you're looking for it, definitely pick it up, too. Well, well you guys know, a chase is a chase, so I'm not going to pass it up, so that was a good find at GameStop. But we are going to be going over to the electronics here in Walmart, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can find. As well as far as stuff here at Walmart, they have a couple of good things here. Some of the new Space Jam pops. We saw that at the other Walmart, which is pretty cool. Soup Nazi uh, pop tea combo, which is sweet. And also the Venomized, or well, Venom Mech Strike Venom, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, I was wishing that they had that flock Taz, but I guess that's not the case yet. But here are the rest of their other pops. Mighty Ducks that are up there. Mortal Kombat, Cool Runnings. Yeah, pretty much all the same stuff that I've seen at all my other stores as well. Looking for a chase, but I guess there's not one of the Blade Runner one, but that's okay. So anyways, guys, still pretty cool though to see some new stuff right here. And then just some of the regular stuff as well. All right, guys, so we're back. So uh, yeah, let's show off some of the things that I ended up getting. But first things first, guys, Target had some pretty cool stuff. It was cool to see some of their new exclusives with like Seinfeld and some other things, but I picked up something pretty basic, pretty random, I guess, in a way, but with a new Space Jam movie coming out, I wanted to complete my set as for now. Um, and we have Lola Bunny, and I don't think I actually have this one yet. Um, I was trying to remember, I do have Bugs, I do have Daffy, and I do have, I think the new LeBron, but I don't have Lola yet. And so I got it at retail, you know, at Target and everything. It was a good price, so I decided to get it. Um, I know that the voice of Lola Bunny, I want to say it's Zendaya or Zendaya, however you want to say it, Zendaya, um, other than who it was before, or I don't know. But anyways, there's been controversy for Lola. You know what? There's controversy with everything. Why is that, why is that always the case? I don't know. But anyways, guys, yep, this is the new one, and I think this is the second pop over technically with the uh, Wonder Woman Lola that came out a while ago. But anyways, guys, there's Lola Bunny, and um, yeah, excited for the new movie. All right, guys, moving on, we did find a chase at GameStop, which is pretty cool. Um, this right here is the Scorpion Chase. So this is from the new Mortal Kombat movie that came out a couple months ago. Um, I've heard people really liked it, actually, with all the different action and everything. It was definitely a, a better step in the right direction other than the older movies in the 90s, which some people may like that, but it seemed like there was a pretty good consensus as far as uh, fans go of this new movie and people are really excited to see where it goes in this franchise. But um, yeah, the chase, the only difference is if you guys look on the back right here is he's wearing a mask in the normal one and the chase he is not. So I was actually pretty surprised to find this in GameStop just sitting there when I checked out the worker there was like, we got a chase of that guy. And so it goes to show that most GameStop employees are fairly aware of the stock that they get in every and everything. So that must have just, you know, he just didn't notice it or whatever, but pretty excited. Um, and this will definitely be going for trade or in an auction later, but pretty cool to come across to chase nonetheless and a new one for that matter. All right. And I get, I picked up a couple of different extras of these guys too. Um, so these are the Slurpee Pops and a lot of people have been finding these. The reason why I picked up some extras is because 7-Eleven sent over a bunch to me to give away to you guys and we actually did give away a set just recently but there were two that were missing to have three complete sets so I bought another two so we'd have two more complete sets whether we're going to be giving this away or not I'm not 100% sure but I felt like to me if I were going to have more of these I'd rather have another complete set so yeah guys we have right here we have 
pina colada, right? Or yeah, they got pina colada. I'm getting which one's mixed up. Yeah, pina colada and um, banana. But yeah, we've already shown these off pretty much in detail, pretty extensively. So if you want to check out that video, definitely go and do so. But pretty cool that we have another set now. And then guys, wait until the very end. So I want to suggest to you guys to definitely pick this up. Um, and I, my comic book shop had a ton of these left and yeah, I think it was pretty lucky that we still had a bunch of these. But um, what I'm talking about is this right here. This was a free comic book day Marvel box that came with a pop, a comic, and a tea. There were different variations of the uh, tea and comic, I believe, but the pop was always the same. And so this box was 30 bucks, and I've noticed that this pop is starting to trend um, in about like the $50 range, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, so basically what it is right here is, I can show off the shirt to you real quick. I don't know, I probably, me myself, I don't think I'm gonna wear this shirt, but it's a Loki shirt, you guys can see uh, right there. I'm not gonna really take it out, but if anybody is interested in it, it is a, is it a large T? I believe, yeah, a large, oops, and it just fell off my lap, so we're just gonna leave it there. But then there was also the comic that came with this as well. So if anybody is interested in the comic and the shirt, message me on Instagram and we can work out a deal to get that sent to you. But let's show off the pop. All right, guys, and this is the free comic book day, Loki number 615 in the Marvel line. And now I was asking some of you guys on Instagram and everything, like what is the variation of this? Apparently it's like a teen, like kind of steampunk emo-ish kind of Loki or whatever, another variant. And guys, if you have seen the last episode of uh, Loki, I don't really want to spoil anything for you, but we'll just say variants. That's all I'm going to say. Definitely go and check that out. It's at the end credit scene. And I just imagine it's going to get even crazier with the remaining episode so I figured this would be a good one to pick up and if I'm not mistaken we might see this in the show I guess you guys will just have to watch and find out but pretty cool honestly and um yeah any Loki pops guys any variants of Loki is something that you definitely want to keep an eye out because I don't think any Loki necessarily is safe in this new show we could see a lot of different versions of Loki let's just put it that way but anyways guys there you guys go there's the back of the box right there uh, kind of shows a comic book look of that Loki which actually looks pretty dang cool honestly um, but yeah guys so if you're able to find this for retail I definitely highly suggest picking it up and anything else that you can find for retail that's Loki because it's gonna get crazy all right guys so that's gonna do it for this hunt video hopefully you enjoyed this footage and let me know in the comment section below what's something that you like that I picked up have you picked up any Loki pops recently with the new show or anything cool or awesome let me know in the comment section below also if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one guys Thank you so much for watching again. You guys are awesome and the best. I love your support. And like always, remember to be kind of one another and always promote positivity. And I'll see you in the next video. We'll catch you guys later.